And now we have a part two of this connection and the guidance and how I choose to work with this. This is the second time I make a part two. So be aware I am practicing my patience here and the security that I trust this message is important to be with you. So the card that we had chosen was the field of dreams. As I was mentioning before, this is the enchanted map from Colette Byron Reed. I really enjoy her. She makes a lot of sense to me. And, uh, the field of dreams is really about, yeah, your dreams and my dreams, the opportunity that we have. If we can look beyond, if we can let go of what seems to be rational and normal and acceptable. The field of dreams for me come always from here, from within. And it's about being courageous dreamers and dream them into being. I stopped Alberto Villalba. So. so I'm inviting you to this space. If you get your own set, of course, or if you have these cards, you can read more about it and maybe find more resonance. But of course, I find it beautiful that we should be in a field of dreams in this connection that we're making for each other today. The second one that I have chosen then, while it didn't record, but I still feel I need to share with you, was from Belinda Payton. And this deck is called the magic of nature and the card that came was the sacred earth here in Peru we call the sacred earth Pachamama and I often refer to the earth as Pachamama and I, I, I spent a lot of time thinking about the earth and trying to pull my part. So this is interesting in our connection here that we are connected in the sacred earth, you and I. What it reads is, Mother Earth has been abused by man for too long. She's in need of healing on both a physical and a spiritual level. What can you do to help? So you are in this just as much as I am. I've made a conscious decision a long time ago to to use household articles, to eat food that is organic and sustainable and ecological, to, to bring as little harm to earth as I possibly can. I have, of course, shopping bags that are not out of plastic. I really try very hard to make this happen. And often I, I just spend time playing, taking out my flutes and playing for sacred earth let her know that I care and, and to help her with that shift and healing that she is going through just as much as we do. So my question for you is here. If you can read it, which I know that you can, what can you do to help? And maybe what are you doing? Maybe you can do that more consciously. Maybe you can do that more actively. Maybe we can collaborate more with others. This is something that seems to be important. Maybe this is the main part of, of Patrick's source and our connection. To connect to the field of dreams, yours and mine, the collective. To, to assist Mother Earth, to live more consciously with her and more lovingly. And the last card that I had chosen was from a German deck and a lady by the name of Jeannie Ruland. And it's Aloha. Yeah, Hawaii has something with me. Um, many years ago, I went to Hawaii to present a paper. I'm kind of an autodact academic. Not anymore, but I was. And uh, I wrote this paper about education and how students can change their way of perception by being able to learn the way that it's natural to them. I didn't understand it at the 
this time, but, but now it makes sense to me. If you come from your truth, I think all of us can learn anything. Anyway, I, I got in and I presented that paper in Hawaii and I decided to stay another four weeks, driving around and hanging around and feeling that beautiful spirit of Hawaii. And I will be back when the time is right. So aloha means a lot to me. Of course, I did some intensive studies on Ho'oponopono. And when I saw these cards, I even looked through and beyond having to translate it from German into English. So imagine what came up. Now we're trying to figure out how to see that. Yes, the word is io, and what it means is the mystery. Now, as you could see, it is actually a spiral. Ah, we can do this beautifully. And it's a fern, a symbol for a fern. And as a New Zealander, I love the fern, as you can imagine. So New Zealand by passport, Jamaican by heart, German by birth and with a German mother, uh, Peruvian by choice, and uh, citizen of this world so yes it's a very beautiful card the mystery do you believe in the mystery do you like to have everything rational and in order logical or do you enjoy the mystery to unfold the card tells me the following the mystery is a part of your path let it go and open yourself to the present moment. So sometimes we feel like we have this perfect plan for our life. This is exactly my next step. This is exactly what I want to do. And then something happens. Have you had a similar experience? Yeah, that's a mystery. Letting it unfold, letting go of our expectations and our desires, if you wish, without being lazy or not making an effort to be who we truly are. So the mystery for me, Io, that makes a lot of sense. And to share this with you is also beautiful because I do call myself a mystic. I don't feel so comfortable with the word spiritual. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong or good or bad. I just feel better as a mystic. So look at that, this connection that we're making first in Patrick's source is bringing these three elements, the field of dreams, ah, look at this, the sun is shifting and here we are, the field of dreams, we are here to explore, the sacred earth, we are here to honor, and the mystery, we are here to witness as it unfolds. So thank you for being here. Again, let me know how this all works for you. Let me know if it has a meaning, if I help you in any way. Write your comments, ask me questions. I promise I answer everything that you write. And I'm very happy to share this space with you. Thank you.